What are liquors in Resident Evil? When the T virus outbreak occurred in Raccoon City, the zombies were actually an accidental development. The liquors were intentionally created as bioweapons. The liquors were the result of another variant of the T virus during a dormant state. This new project was trying to reactivate the body of a host that was incapacitated. This could have been caused from a coma, being wounded, or starvation. This variant of the T virus would be used to ensure the body of the host would survive. The process was called VACT. By causing significant mutations, this resulted in a new type of zombie that was more resistant to firepower. This would be named the Crimson Head Zombie. Because it was more aggressive than the standard zombie, it could not be studied anymore, and so it was locked away within a sarcophagus in a cemetery. During this time at the Arkley Laboratory, another strain of this virus would form and be responsible for creating the liquors. You can see the Crimson Head Zombie does share some similarities to a liquor. They have sharp teeth, some skin is torn away from the body, and their hands have developed large claws. The liquors have evolved from their zombie state and turned into a BOW that relies on cunning and stealth. The liquors could even be controlled by inserting a modified plaga into the host's body. The plaga is a parasite that can control the host's nervous system. Different versions were created for specific purposes. They were used on some animals like dogs and humans. Another one was made to turn the host's wishes into commands and the last one resembled a leech. It was used to create bioweapons. Now the word plaga is derived from the Latin word las plagas, which basically means plagues. The mutation that the liquor undergoes is very different. Its flesh is peeled off while revealing its muscles underneath. The brain becomes fully exposed and its lips are pulled back. It drools a lot while crawling around stretched out. It can scale the walls and ceilings fairly easily. Now its bone structure is changed to give them a more quadrupedal form. This gives them the advantage to pounce on a target. It was given the name of the liquor because of its unique method of attacking. The mutation has also caused its tongue to become more elongated and strong enough to cut through flesh. The tongue can be used to swipe at targets or to pierce them like a lance. Liquors are also known to be great jumpers, leaping from across the room to swipe at a target with their large claws. They would normally give off a scream right before jumping, and sometimes will not attack unless they are provoked. While they do lack any visible eyes, they have super developed hearing. There have been some sightings of a liquor with a darker skin tone. It seems to be more aggressive, but there is speculation that they are modified to become better hunters. Another version was the evolved liquor. It was exposed to the chemical compounds within the gas that was used to exterminate the infected plants. These plants were seen around Umbrella's underground facility. The gas would alter the liquors to develop reptilian skin and increase their muscle mass. Another rare type was something that was called the suspended or the regus liquor. Its physical appearance shows that its mutation took place after a crimson head zombie but before a liquor. But it still had an elongated tongue. Although it could not be used for decapitation, it was mainly used as a whip. The liquors would later be re-examined by a company called Tricell. They were modified with more viral infections to become more powerful hunters. This new beta version was given the progenitor virus and it was called the Liquor B. It performed the same way except that its senses became more heightened. There was also an advanced liquor in the first Resident Evil movie. When it consumed fresh DNA, it would grow to become a faster, stronger hunter. It was able to break through barricaded steel doors with minimal effort, and it also showed greater resilience from damage. When Alice shot at the outer brain, that did not slow down the advanced liquor at all. There was also an even larger version called the Uber Liquor. It was seen in the movie Resident Evil Retribution. It was very large and fast. It was encountered by Alice in Moscow. Now even though the liquor is very different from a zombie, Information in the video games tells us that the liquor is basically an evolved zombie. I also want to point out that the uber liquor looks very similar to a Hell Knight from Doom. So that covers the liquor in Resident Evil. Who is your favorite character or creature in this franchise? Let me know in the comments section. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future and turn on notifications. Thanks for watching. 
My name is Acid Glow, and I'll see you in the next video.